Haleluya, haleluya. Niko hapa mahali ambapo Simoni Mkirene alimsaidia Bwana Msalaba. Ukisoma kile kitabu cha Mathayo sura ya 20 na saba ule msari wa 62 pia sema hata walipokuwa wakitoka wakamwona mtu Mkirene jina lake Simeon, huyu akamshurutisha auchukue msalaba. Ukisoma uh, Marko sura ya 15 ule msari wa 21 yasema wakamshurutisha mtu aliyekuwa akipita akitoka mashambani. Mkirene huyu alikuwa ni Mwafrika na alikuwa anatoka katika shamba hapa ndipo ambapo alilazimishwa kubeba msalaba wa Kristo na akamsaidia Yesu mpaka Goligota kule tulipotoka nataka niombe pamoja na wewe katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti aliye hai Bwana akupe neema Bwana akupe neema Bwana akupe neema tukio hili linamaanisha nini tukio hili linamaanisha Afrika na uamsho wa nyakati za mwisho Africans with the coming revival Afrika na uamisho wa nyakati za mwisho. Mimi na wewe, watu wote wanaonisikiliza, tunaomba malango ya masaa haya katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Habari hizi za ufalme wa Mungu zitaenea dunia nzima. Habari hizi za ufalme wa Mungu zitatoka Afrika na sehemu mbalimbali. Zitasunguka katika dunia nzima katika jina la Yesu Kristo. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Katika jina Yesu Kristo tutabeba habari njema za ufame viwete watatembea vipofu wata, wataona eh, ma, maskini watahubiriwa habari njema za Mungu it was a prophetic it was a prophetic action that prophesied that the gospel of the end time shall be moved with the africans people and we prophesy nasimama nikiwa kwenye lango hili yeyote unayenisikiliza ulie ndani ya kanisa unayemwamini Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo let the lord use you for this end time revival in the name of Jesus Christ let the lord use you for this end time revival in the mighty name of Jesus let the lord use you in this end time revival receive it wherever you are receive it wherever you are receive it wherever in Jesus name we pray shalom